Hey everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome to another Fortnite Save the World video. So in the 5.0 patch notes, Epic Games said that for a limited time, the Super Deluxe and Limited Edition versions of the game are going to be making a return and they are going to be on sale. That sale will start tomorrow, July 17th, as of the time of making this video, and it should run roughly for a week. Now, if you guys didn't know this, if you buy the Limited Edition version of the game, you will get a choice of one of four Legendary Hero classes, you'll get two legendary heroes, and you'll also get a weapon to go with that hero class as well. There was also the Ultimate Edition upgrade, which was one step beyond the Limited Edition, but Epic Games has not said whether this is going to be returning or not, so we're going to assume that it won't be. However, if it does return, you will get all of the heroes listed in this video, you will get all of their weapons, and you will also get the Nocturno, but as I said, Epic Games hasn't said whether it's returning or not so we're going to assume that's a no but in today's video i will be going over all of the heroes you can get from the limited edition along with their weapons and sharing my thoughts so you guys can make a better informed decision so let's go ahead and get right into it First up, we have the Soldiers. If you guys go with the Soldier Pack, you'll be getting Special Forces Ramirez and Special Forces Jonesy, and these guys are some of the best Soldiers in the game. They come in right behind Urban Assault Headhunter, which is, without a doubt, the best hero in the game, and they're coming in right behind her in terms of overall meta usage. So if you guys go with the Soldier Pack, you're going to be getting some actual solid heroes to use, and they're definitely viable in the late game. Moving on to ninjas, we have Lotus Assassin Sarah and Lotus Assassin Ken. Now, assassin ninjas are okay. They're definitely not the best out there. The assassination stuff is pretty fun to play around with, and that's really all they offer. They don't really have anything that stands out about them. They're definitely not a Dragon Scorch or Shuriken Master Sarah, but they can be fun to mess around with. I honestly think they're some of the best looking ninjas in the game. I really like the white outfits that they have on. I like Shuriken Master Sarah's black outfit, but something about the white really just stands out, and that would be the only reason I would even go with these ninjas. For the Outlanders, if you select this, you'll be getting Recon Scout Jess and Recon Scout AC. These guys are not combat Outlanders in any way. They do have Shock Tower, but they don't have any sort of perks that buff that in any way. But they are the best chest farming Outlanders in the game. If you guys are wanting some good farming heroes, these guys definitely won't disappoint. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the Constructors. If you go with the Constructor Pack, you're going to be getting Power Base Penny and Power Base Kyle. These guys are top tier Constructors, and they're the best non-Mythic Constructors in the game. They have massive base coverage, and they also have healing over time for tiles affected by base. So if you guys want some great Constructors, these guys are really going to blow you away. I personally like the look of Power Base Penny. I really like the pink outfit and everything, which is weird because I'm normally not a fan of penny skins but i really like power base penny but that's all we have for the heroes keep in mind you can only select one of the four hero classes and you will get both heroes listed with each group so we're going to go ahead and jump on over to the weapons so let's get started First up is the drum roll. The drum roll comes with the soldier pack. This is a high capacity assault rifle with pretty great accuracy considering how fast it shoots and it is a water element by default. If you guys like using stuff like bullet storm Jonesy, this weapon is really going to shine on that hero. I really like the look of this. It's got the laser sight and stuff. It holds a lot of ammo and it can actually do quite a bit of damage. So if you guys go with the soldiers, you're going to be getting the founder's drum roll. If you guys go with the ninjas, you're going to be getting the Blazing Masamune. This is a fire sword by default, and its unique perk makes it proc an explosion every sixth hit. Now, this is a pretty great melee weapon on its own, but it also makes a good synergy with the new event ninja with his explosions from assassination and enemies being close. So if you guys want a pretty fun playstyle to go along with melee weapons, the Blazing Masamune is a really fun weapon to use. If you guys pick the Outlanders, you're going to be getting the Founder's Quick Shot. This is a machine pistol with nature element by default. You would really get the most out of this weapon by using it with a Ranger Deadeye due to his pistol buffs, but even if you're not using it with him, it is still a really fun and good weapon to use. It's nothing insane. It's 
pretty useful for clearing out general husks and things like that, and overall just a nice weapon to have. And then last we have the Founder's Deconstructor which comes with the Constructor Pack. This is an energy shotgun with overall decent base stats. There's nothing too crazy about it. it does hold its own against other shotguns, but if you're wanting something for DPS, this definitely isn't the go-to. If you want a great DPS shotgun, the Tiger Jaw is going to beat this out due to it being full auto, but nonetheless, the Deconstructor is still pretty decent. Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I wanted to get this out due to the packs making a return. I know a lot of people want to buy this and some might not know what exactly they're getting themselves into, so I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick recap. If you guys are going to be picking up the limited edition of the game, let me know in the comment section below what hero set you're going to be going with. When I bought it, I went with the soldiers and as I was going to buy the ultimate edition, they pulled it from the store. So if that makes a return, I'm definitely going going to be picking it up, but my soldiers were the first pick when I got the limited. Talk it out in the comment section below, let me know what choices you're going with, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, a like is always appreciated, and if you happen to be new to Split Screen, be sure to subscribe for everything Fortnite and more. Once again, my name is Morgan, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.